Hey guys, Syntac here, and I was going to show a video today on how to Hathor just about any TOA hard floor using your Hathor and a couple of monsters you can farm uh, basically for free. Um, I got the idea because I've got a lot of guildies who, who actually have a Hathor and they're not really using her. They don't understand how to use her correctly. And I've read a lot of threads where people aren't using her correctly. So the basic of this team is that you are going to perma sleep everything. And while everything's sleeping, you're going to cycle back her cooldown as fast as possible. And you're going to single target nuke down one monster at a time. This strategy can pretty much be used for just about every TOA hard floor. Um, there's a few you can't, like the Acromas are, you can't CC. Um, so you want to do more of a tank up floor on that one and I think one of the 90s might have the light or dark uh, forget what they're called serpents that can't be cc'd but for the vast majority of the floors I use this strategy and it works great um, it is a little bit slower in the sense that you're single target nuking one at a time but it's safe it's really really safe and that's important you know especially for a lot of you who maybe have a little bit of trouble clearing TOA hard every every month um, so just to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown on what I'm doing I'm basically sleeping all of the targets and I pick one defense break it I use spectra to kind of push back the attack bars Bella's kind of there for the uh, the extra attack break and the emergency heal I'll use Mavs third right here, wing, Wind of Wings. We'll reset that cooldown one extra turn. So Hathor's, Hathor's Sleep is on a five-turn cooldown. She'll sleep for two, and she'll push back the attack bar for another 75%. So, so that's almost the equivalent of a three-turn. So you've got to make up basically two turns on, on her rotation in order to continually keep everything perma-sleep. The easiest way to do that is one, get her on violent, because you're almost always proc violent at least once. And two, use Mav. Mav will reset that cooldown one, and by the time it comes back around, she'll have her cooldown reset. You can put him back to sleep and start the cycle all over again. Um, as soon as this one's done, I'll kind of show you the runes. I'm actually using bare bone runes on these units. Um, and, and I know Theo's a nat five. But he can, you can pretty much use any single target damage dealer for this role. He doesn't have to be a Theo. I actually don't even use a Theo. I'm just doing the Theo because most people have a Theo. He gets elemental advantage. So he's a great unit to use. Um, I, I've actually got a Dark Sea Emperor, a Manana Nanana, and he's, uh, I use him because he gets the LD advantage. Um, and he hits like a truck. He hits even harder than a Theo. But Theo can work. I mean, any any good single target damage dealer can work. Uh, Theo's great because he's got the extra defense break. Um, I'm also using Spectra's second. And basically, you know, the one unit you're focusing down while you're killing it, you can uh, you can taunt with Mav. This is this is about as safe as it gets, honestly. If you if you're having issues with this and you manage to pull a Hathor, a Hathor is like an I win button for TOA hard. It's just really, really makes everything super safe. You never have to worry about getting ganked or dying. It does take a little bit longer, but these floors toward the end tend to. All right, for this last one, then I'm, I'm just going to let, you normally you can let that cool down come back up so it's ready for the next floor then so you can start off the sleep. And when we get to this next level, I uh, will go over the kind of the stat requirements for this. And they're not really that, that well. You don't have to have amazing stats to pull this off. I'm actually, on my Mav, my Bella, my Spectra, even my Theo, the stats are just mediocre. I've got really good runes on other units, um, but the... My TOAH team, I, I barely use any any good stats on. The only requirement I would say is that 
Hathor has to be on violent. And I would really try and get her speed up around 100. I was doing this, you know, for several months with her speed around plus 90, plus 100. Um, right now, she's at plus 130, something insane. But, but my Hathor is that fast for RTA, not, uh, not for TOA. You can do it with a much slower Hathor. Um, but I would shoot for about 90 plus 100 speed on her. Everything else, just kind of try and sync the turn order. Obviously, you want Hathor to move first, then uh, the Mav, so he can reset the cooldown. You know, your Bella, you want the defense break, whatever unit you're going for. Um, and then Spectra to kind of reset the attack bars. Um... I'm showing farmable units too. You know, these are three stars Bella, uh, Spectra, and Mav. You can actually use, there's a couple of units you can interchange in here if you understand kind of what their roles are. So, Spectra, you can actually replace with a Verd um, because of that attack bar boost is pretty much the equivalent of the knockback. You can boost forward or you can knock back. Um, sometimes I'll use a Galleon over Bella. Like, you don't need a heal. If you're going to use Spectra, you kind of want to heal because she tends to drain life off of her second. Uh, so having the Bell is nice. If you've got a good Nat 5 single target damage dealer, like a Perna or even a Rakan or something like that, go nuts with them. I mean, you, you've got a lot of options when you're running these comps with Hathor because she's going to keep everything sleeped. You know, you have no worries when it comes to... Like I said, though, it just it takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit, it's probably a little bit slower than a lot of people. We are getting up there in the numbers. You you can pretty much want a two shot a lot of things with a good Theo in the lower numbers. Um, but this, like I said, this will get you through pretty much just about every single floor. It's almost cheap mode. So if you're not using your Hathor and you can't clear TOA hard, I'd say break her out, dust her off, get her a decent rune set. You know, she's a great unit for this stuff. The other nice thing about her is if you get some of the floors, some of the mobs will get immunity or, or invincibility, and Hathor can strip. So the, whatever you're focusing, you can strip that right on off of. You know, Mav can keep them taunted. Just finishing them off, finishing them off. And we'll do a quick rune showcase. These guys tend to get really tanky towards the end, toward the end of the, uh... Toward the higher numbers. Bam. Easy peasy. Right, real quick, we'll look at what I'm rocking. Theo's on violent. He's got almost no health. Uh, he's got decent attack power, crit. You don't need the will. Uh, violent, whatever. Broken will work. Spectra, also violent. I would definitely recommend Spectra on violent. He's got even less health, but like I said, you're not taking any damage when you're doing this kind of comp. Um, Spectra's got a great base speed. A little bit of crit in there, crit slot. I, I like the accuracy just so I can I can get a better chance of that knockback and, and putting that slow debuff on there. It lets me cycle that uh, cooldown faster for Hathor. Let's see, map. I mean, he's not even fat. He's got decent accuracy. That's important for the taunt. 
violent focus. Oh, look, I, I don't even have the runes maxed out. All right, Hathor is on violent will. You can do violent anything uh, for this trick. Mine's really fast, but like I said, you can plus 90, plus 100 speed. You don't have to make them as this fast. Um, and you don't have to use a Theo either. You can use any single target damage dealer. I use, I typically use Mananan because he's a lot stronger than a Theo, but Theo works great. I mean, you could, if you've got the right elemental advantage, you could use something like the, uh, oh, he's in storage. You could use something like the, the, the water imp. Right there. You could use something like a Yaku because he's got ignore defense. Um, something to think about, you know, that's another farmable unit that you can use. Great unit. And Bella. Pretty, pretty just average runes, you know, they're not even that good. It's, it's a really easy trick. If you've got a Hathor, don't feel bad. A lot of people don't know how to use her. She's a great unit. If you guys like my video, subscribe, like. Um, check out my other ones. I've got another one coming up that's going to show you how to do the same thing with any TOA hard boss. All right, take it easy, guys.